Hello, Patricia back again. Okay, here we go. I'm getting ready to do something a little different, and I hope it really is interesting to you. This is my little promotional video for my book called That Still Blows My Mind. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, what I wanted to do is something a little different. I wanted to share some of the intriguing sections of my chapters. I'm not going to read the whole chapters, just a little, a few paragraphs here and there to whet your appetite. What this is really about is these are personal experiences of my life after I started walking with God. The moments that led up to it and after and a lot of these chapters, when I was writing them, I was crying when I got to certain parts because I was reliving it all over again. But anyway, I was writing it during the last eight months of my husband's um, life. And uh, it was very therapeutic for me to do so. But I really hope it touches you. I hope it piques your interest. Um, this book will render some healing for some people deep inner healing. This will help others know how to get to God, actually experience Him on a one-on-one -on -one basis, personally. Some who have never felt loved in their life might be able to access God's love through this book. I really hope that, that you find it interesting enough to either buy for yourself or buy for someone you know is really hurting. Okay? Okay, here we go. I'm going to put these glasses on because I need these to read on this computer screen. They tear my eyes up. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here we are. All right. That Still Blows My Mind is my book by Patricia Love. Chapter 1, Desperation on a Quest. I was tired. Tired of being an apology and tired of playing a role. I was choking on the aftertaste of too much street life and losing all interest in the endless servings of bull. For too long, I had been stuck at a crossroad, caught between two opinions, neither here nor there. I was just aimlessly meandering through a life of quiet desperation and emotional neediness. I stumbled into a maze and got lost in space. Then I couldn't find my way, so I just sat there, wallowing in my own pity. Soon time brought me a rude awakening. I had become an emotional cripple. My only response to that was to keep on spinning my wheels. I was going nowhere but down into a pit of disillusionment where I kept looking for love in dead-end relationships. I decided I wanted out of this world of make-believe. It's time. Time to kill the charades. This party's over. There's no need to stay. Then I went on a search. Fast forward. Sorry to do that to you. This is another section of the same chapter. Anyway, there I was and there I sat, feeling so cynical and suspicious, feeling apprehensive, feeling out of place, feeling insecure, and feeling big tears running down my cheeks while butterflies fluttered around in my gut. I can't do this. What the heck was I thinking? These people, are, they don't even speak my language and I sure don't speak theirs. I don't even know if I can. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Chapter 2, The Surprise. God was preparing a surprise for me I never saw coming. <laughs> I was getting ready to pray one night. Well, actually, I didn't really feel like praying. It's kind of like trying to start a juicy conversation with nothing at all interesting to say. Boring. Anyway, 
Right before the boring prayer, I closed my eyes. Then I paused for a minute. I thought I saw something. It looked like slowly drifting snow flurries falling. Say what? (laughs) Yeah, that's what I said. Snow flurries, as in big, fat snowflakes. Hmm. But check this out. My eyes were closed. My mouth was too. I never did get started with that sorry prayer. I opened my eyes. I looked around. I, I saw nothing out of the ordinary and nothing out of the ordinary happened. Intrigued with curiosity, I closed my eyes once again. While my eyes were shut this time, I saw snowflakes falling like before. Okay, this is getting kind of weird. I was in my living room. It was dark and it wasn't snowing outside or in. What could this mean? Mm. Okay. Fast forward. I started sensing an eerie shift in the air. Everything started growing still and quiet. It was a little unnerving. What is getting ready to happen up in here? I waited silently. I opened my eyes. I looked around, thinking I might see a heavenly vision. Not. Then gradually I started feeling something slowly materializing. Not in the physical sense. The whole atmosphere started feeling enchantingly peaceful. It was so celestial. Then... I felt it moving all around me. This thing was enormous. It was a beautiful galactic essence. It was so heavenly and divine. This mysterious entity was, I'm sorry, I gotta leave you hanging. But anyway, moving on to chapter eight and then we'll be done. The atmosphere was dark and dreary. The name of this chapter is The Weapon. See if you can figure out what that means. The atmosphere was dark and dreary that day. I was in my bed when I sensed an intruder entering my house, heading straight to my bedroom. I actually saw this thing. We'll call it a man for now. I was petrified because he had pounced on my bed and pinned me down. His hands pinned my shoulders down and his legs pinned my knees. He was so strong. I thought he might be trying to rape me. I, I shook. I struggled, hollering at the top of my lungs. Get off of me. I tried to push him off. I hollered repeatedly. Get off me. Get off of me. I struggled to get loose. Sadly, the more I struggled. Okay, I got to stop there and leave you hanging. There are 37 chapters and each is a different short story depicting the power of God the authority of the name of Jesus, and the workings of the Holy Spirit. Every short story is true. They are eyewitness accounts of the supernatural. You got to get the book. You'll be shocked at some of the stuff that's in there. It it involves suicide, rape, uh, relationships, broken relationships, toxic relationships, adultery, jealousy. I mean, it just, the list goes on. You've got to, you've got to check it out. You really do. Because there is healing in the book. A lot of healing, tremendous deliverance. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop and I want you to, to check it out. You can find it on Amazon. Dot com. Again, so you can see what it looks like, and the print is backwards because of the screen. That still blows my mind. I illustrated the cover. I illustrated and 
formatted the book myself because I did not have what it took financially to pay anyone else to do so. Unfortunately, I had to edit the book myself as well. So there are a few errors like all books have, but if I had not done it myself, they probably would have been found. Anyway, so um, I want you to check it out. It really is from my heart. It really is. There's, um, I just want you to know that I pray that God would anoint it so that it would break yokes. And um, that's all I'm going to say about it. Your heart will thank you if you get it. God bless you. And thank you for even considering. Amen.